So let's continue drawing and naming these organic chemicals. With the alcohols, the functional group, the specific arrangement of atoms that give it its individual properties, the functional group, is CO and H. Don't just say OH, because then water would be an alcohol, wouldn't it? So the first one's methanol. Now you have to draw the hydrogens in. I don't, because I'm an associate examiner. And there's ethanol, which is the next one. Now notice those are the condensed structural formula, and so just OH together, that's how you write it in shorthand for alcohol. Let's look at propanol, which is three carbons. Well, there's a little bit of ambiguity here because that's, the alcohol could be at the end, or it could be in the middle, or it could be at that end. Let me just fix it round. Can't leave it like that. You have to put H and O because oxygen has a double bond. So you've got to tell me which of these you are using, which propanol is which. So we're going to use numbers just like we did for the branches. So propanol is going to have the OH on the 1. on the first carbon. Propan-2-ol, I'm going to erase that and put it on the second carbon. So either of those two is good. And then propan-3-ol is on the third carbon. Oh dear, that's wrong. Propan-3-ol is wrong. You have to count giving the lowest number. So Instead of going one, two, three, really I should have numbered the other way round. Use the lowest number. So counting the other way round. Okay, that's propan one ol. Don't forget to put dashes between the numbers and the words. Propan one two three triol has an alcohol on the one, the two, and the three carbon. Uh, see the commas between the numbers as well? You have to do that. And ethanhexol, well, I put no numbers in there. But you know what? I don't need numbers because there's only space for six alcohol groups. So I don't need numbers. It's unambiguous, ethanhexol. And there's the condensed structural formula. The aldehydes and ketones look quite similar. So let's look at propanal and propanone. Anal means aldehyde, which seems a strange postfix to me, and own is a ketone. So propanal, prop must be three carbons, and propanone, it's got to have three carbons. Now see how similar these look? That's the aldehyde functional group, and that is the ketone functional group. So methanone and ethanone, well, they, they don't exist because you need three carbons in a row for a ketone with the oxygen double bonded to the center. And with the aldehydes, normally I don't need a number because an aldehyde it has to be at the end of the chain. So in SL chemistry, you probably won't be needing a number. Let's look at butandienal and butandione. Butan is four carbons. And I've stuck two aldehyde groups on. And that's butandione. Now moving on to pentanone. I can't use the word pentanone because it could be pentan-2-one or pentan-3-one. So I have to give a number, otherwise it's ambiguous. dashes between the words and the numbers and oh that's naughty that's a pentavalent carbon carbon can't have five bonds so remove that that's a common mistake and don't forget to draw in the hydrogens there's the condensed structural formula notice CO in the middle there is a ketone And if I put the double bond O at the end, it becomes an aldehyde. 
and looking at the condensed structural formula of that, it's CHO. That's how they like you to write that aldehyde. CHO. Next is carboxylic acids, uh, which are found in wasp stings. <laughs> All right, then. So, methanoic acid, one carbon, meth. That's the one found in wasp stings. And I've put a square around the functional group of the carboxylic acid. There's the condensed formula. Condensed structural formula. And for ethanoic acid, well, that's the next one. I'm going to put a CH3 there. Now, what about propandioic acid? I put the uh, two functional groups. They only fit at the ends, the functional group for carboxylic acid. And if I wanted to write out the condensed formula, try to stick to CO2H. That's the preferred way of writing it you could try and be a bit clever and put HO2C, but CO2H is specifically mentioned in the syllabus. Haloalkanes is the last functional group you need to look at. So what about bromo, chloro, fluoro, iodo, methane? Now notice those are in alphabetical order. No one really cares, and I've never seen them take a point off, but it's supposed to be in alphabetical order when you do these things. And if you get that on Scrabble, you get 6 times 10 to the 23 points. Please send me a free Scrabble set. All right, then. A little more complicated, 111 trichloroethane. That's Tipex thinner, the stuff they use to, to make liquid paper uh, less crusty and more of a liquid. So ethane is two carbons. Oh, there's a helicopter going by. And I'm going to put a chlorine on the one, another chlorine on the one, another chlorine on the one. One comma one comma one. No problem. 